Well, hello and good morning. Um, I am so excited to um, be in this new state of mind for this new product that we have. It is the Philadelphia Cooking Cream. It has buttermilk. It is very, it's got a very good fragrance to it. It's got a blend of uh, Italian cheeses and herbs where you can use it. Um, it also has buttermilk as well. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make something with the Philadelphia cooking cream, which I thought was just for cream cheese, but they're actually standing up to a new market where um, they actually release these in Australia as well um, and other countries first, but we have finally had it here in the U.S. We're going to use a 10 ounce tub of cooking cream and we're going to add it to about a pound and a half uh, or a pound of um, so the top round steak, that's a bit leaner since we're going to make kind of a fatty meal tonight. It's more of an appetizer, but I also decided to put mashed potatoes and gravy on the side. So we're going to have a little side dish as well. So we're going to put our 10 ounces of cooking cream. And um, you can use the whole thing for this recipe because it is, um, it is kind of a small recipe that I'm making today, but you use the whole 10 ounces. And you just put that away for a bit. We're going to put it in our fridge. I'll just put it in the fridge. And we'll start on our onions. And we'll get all that together. Um, we have um, some portobello mushrooms as well. Um, well, this is all going to come together when the whole recipe comes together. So first we're going to fry up some bacon. I've had some here that I just fried up for us. Let's take these up. That will be one of your first steps. And what you can do now is we'll go and we'll do some, uh, we'll just caramelize some onions and some mushrooms and that will be a little, a little something special. We'll learn about that in a second. Just make our vegetables. I put about um, about two tablespoons of butter into the pan, and I have some portobello mushroom and some onion. You know, I use about a half an onion, and I like portobello mushrooms a lot. So I use them just a little, just about the same amount, and then after that, I also um, you can include some garlic. Um, but I included the yellow onion and just the portobello mushrooms. And you just stir that for a bit. And then we're going to get our pepper and our, well, let's give it a little flavor. And I have a little pepper, just a dash, just a little taste. And what we're going to do next, I'm going to do a little garlic as well. Um, I do garlic in mine just because I, I love garlic. I think it's really good. Um, but I just was doing this. Um, I, I made up the bacon a little earlier, so we would get that out of the way. But um, I did mine on the foreman. You could just do it on the top of the stove. And um, we're going to wait about 30 minutes. We're going to come back, and we're actually going to start making the country fried steak. Um, and then after that, I'll show you how to make a gravy in a separate video that's a little different and we're going to do mashed potatoes and gravy and it's going to have like a beef broth in it um, and it's going to have a little wine sauce as well. So I hope you join me back here and we'll start cooking again. And I've got our steak. We're going to our next step. Um, this just came out the fridge so it's a little, it's got a good consistency to it so about 30 minutes looks good. But I actually prefer overnight, so if you can do that, that, that would be great. Um, next, I'm just going to, I have two eggs that I did for mine. Um, it depends on how much you're cooking. If you're cooking for a large group of people, you can use more. Um, and then I just have some flour, and I put some baking soda. Just one second. I just put some baking soda. 
and I put some red pepper and a little dash of salt. Just a little salt in there. And we'll mix that all together. A little mix going on. And I cut these, I actually had the butcher cut these steaks in the small bits, so I can make this as an appetizer, but you can actually also make this as the main course as well with a bigger version of this. And you can wrap it up. I, I did something like that last night when I was testing it out. Um, so you're just going to go like this. You're just going to dip it in here, in your egg wash. You're going to... But one thing I saw is that you can actually put it back in the egg mixture. And then you can coat it one more time. Um, just get that coated fine. And I have me a plate right here. Just put a little bit on that. And then we're going to fry them up. So we'll take a little break and we'll come right back here. And we're just going to start frying our chicken fried steak. And I have two ready here already. So we can turn that off. actually already had um, just a little bit made up because um, we're going to fry those up. That's the side. Side. And when you do this, you'll um, just want, um, you can use some grated cheese or um, what I'm going to use is some sliced Swiss cheese. So let me get the Swiss cheese for you. So we took these out of the fryer and we, I wish I actually had a real deep fryer like Miss P herself, but I don't. So we're just going to grab a few slices, I'm just going to grab a slice, we're done. Um, and we're just going to take a slice, do it in half, put it on here, and that mixture we have with the the portobello mushrooms and uh, will be real good because we just fried that. We'll just put a small piece of bacon, put the top to it, turn it around, cook it, and we've got our first one. Um, I've got a few prepared already so you can see what the finished product will look like. It's something a little bigger. Um, I did one that was a little bigger. And here we are. Um, and I have the bacon on it. And I have the Kraft Natural cheeses. I have I and this is the finished product. We actually have the Kraft Natural cheeses. In this one, I actually put natural jack. Um, but you have to put the Swiss inside it, like I said. This is the bigger version. Um, and then these are just some smaller ones. Um, I, to garnish it as well, you can put some parsley on top or something like that just to fancy it up a bit, um, but I think this is good. Um, here's how we learn how to make our um, chicken country fried steak, Jeremy's chicken fried steak, um, as an appetizer. It's something really good and kind of easy, kind of fattening, but it is good for the soul. So here we are. I hope you enjoy. And I'll be cooking more with the gravy, and we'll be doing something as a side as well, if you want to make this as a main dish. Um, thanks so much, and I hope you enjoy. I'll try a little bite here myself. Mm. Oh, wow.